Hello, today we're going to discuss inspection of the oily water separating system and additional hazards and safety equipment we would need. So down here you're being in an engine room, you'd want to have your hearing protection on. This engine room is shut down so it's quiet. Before we come down into the engine room, we're going to review documentations with the ship's officers. Two of the documents that we're going to look at are going to be the IOPP, International Oil Pollution Prevention Certificate, which identifies what type of equipment we're going to have down here. We're also going to look at the oil record book, which identifies when they've operated, when they've tested it, uh, any issues with, it, with the system. When we review the IOPP, it's going to tell us what type of equipment we have down in the engineering space. This is a 107. Part of the 107 is the oil content meter is going to be sealed. So visual inspection of the system. On this system here, it uses filters inside. It has two stages. So it's going to do the gross cleaning of the system. It's going to allow clean water to go up to the second stage of the system and then eventually head over the side. The piping should be tight, no leaks, no indications that they've opened any of the flanges. Excuse me. As it goes, the clean water is going to end up going over the side right here. That import should be locked. During the course of the inspection, you want to also look for any type of illegal bypass. To save money, maybe on filters that might open up a flange and pump oil over the side via any means possible. Uh, within the organization, or one of the, the international regulations, is they have that content meter sealed. And then you have company policy, which may require them to flange or uh, seal flanges, anything that might be able to go over the side. So once every five years, the manufacturer is going to come aboard, do a calibrated test on the system, and seal it. Once a year, uh, using the manufacturer's recommendation, they need to do a calibrated test. Once a quarter, the ship can do a simulated test uh, by clouding the water that would flow through here to get the alarms to function. During the inspection, we may want to witness the operation of the system to check the crew's proficiency. What they're going to do is with the system activated, we're going to do a digital readout here. When we go past the 15 parts per million, we'll hear an alarm. We'll also see the valve close. What they're going to do to do that is there's a photo eye through here. They're going to block that flow uh, and that'll set things off. So as soon as you go over 15 parts per million, you'll get an alarm, you'll get the valve turning. Okay, this is an example, or this is an oil record book. Inside the oil record book is part one, is for machinery operations. Uh, second part is gonna be for cargo operations, part two. In summary of the oily water separator, we looked at any additional hazards. We talked that you wanna wear your hearing protection. We looked at the history in the oil record book. We looked at the type of oily water separator, types of the content meters, visual inspection of the equipment and piping, inspections of calibration, overboard discharge is locked, no illegal bypass routes, testing procedures uh, by the manufacturer's recommendations, crew proficiency with the testing procedures, correct testing equipment, proper oper operation of valve movement at 15 parts per million, we also heard the alarm at 15 parts per, per, per million with no error codes. If you have any additional questions, contact your VO.